hit some scary shots with the Prince Phantom 107G. The wait is over. Please welcome the new Phantom series. The Prince Phantom 107G is now offered in a camouflage inspired cosmetic with a new material composition. Prince adds Xylon to their already popular texture material for extra stability without compromising maneuverability. The racket features a 107 square inch head size, a flexible 62 stiffness rating, and an 11.4 ounce strong weight. The Phantom 107G has really unique specs and I had a lot of fun playing, play testing the previous generation. So I was excited to see what this new one had to offer. And I know it's a little bit of an oxymoron, but this is definitely what I'd consider an oversized player's frame. It was also very easy to use, very user-friendly right from the start. It is a flexible feel, maybe slightly less flexible as the other uh, models, but for me, I liked it. I also thought it was more forgiving. The sweet spot was a little bit bigger, and so there was less of a drop-off when I didn't hit it directly in the sweet spot, which made for, for me a better overall playing experience. And I thought this racket did it all. On ground strokes, I thought it was stable, spin friendly. I really had no complaints when it came to feel as well. I personally preferred it playing doubles. For me, I thought this racket was really highlighted when I was hitting big serves. I had a lot of fun stepping up and hitting returns and that stability really shined there. Even on uh, big serves, I could get some nice returns dipping at my opponent's feet and also volleys. I had a lot of fun hitting volleys getting crafty with my volleys, doing some great pickup volleys, really felt really comfortable at net. So that was great when I was playing doubles, obviously. Overall, this Phantom 107G is my favorite in the lineup. I really had a lot of fun with this play test. This racket offers a unique combination of characteristics that I don't think you'll find with too many other rackets in the market, starting with that 107 head size. I felt like the sweet spot was pretty generous with it and combined with that 16 by 19 string pattern on an oversized head, I felt like the string bed was pretty open and because of that I was getting a higher launch angle than I was used to. I was getting easier depth with my shots. In fact, a little bit too much so at times. I felt like I really had to add top spin to my shots to, to get them to dip into the court. And speaking of spin, I felt like I was able to get easy spin from all areas of the court, not just because of that open string pattern, but because this racket I felt was pretty maneuverable, pretty whippy and easy to swing and generate racket head speed with. And I also really like the feel of this racket. It has kind of that classic old school flexible feel to it where it feels like uh, the ball sits on the racket for a long time before it kind of shoots out. But I do really appreciate that stabilizer bar in the throat and made this racket feel a little bit more torsionally stable compared to the other Phantoms that don't have it. So overall, with that kind of classic feel and that easy to maneuver response, uh, this was just a really fun racket, I think, to have in the bag. This was an excellent play test for me. I really enjoy playing with the Phantom 107G. Brings me back to that classic feel and performance of rackets of yesteryear. Obviously, I'm a little older and not as springy as I used to be, so the older 110, or some people referred to it as the classic 107, is a little hefty. This one comes in a very maneuverable, easy to swing and play with 305 gram package. I think you get an unusual amount of torsional stability because of the 107 head size. Obviously spin on an open 1618 pattern is no problem. If I was challenged with this racket at all, which uh, wasn't excessively, it would be on the backhand slice. It was kind of easy to kind of cough it up and a little more difficult to keep it low and linear. But overall, it wasn't much of a hindrance at all. Uh, this is definitely a racket that gives you tons of comfort, tons of feel and precision. And the power, you know, enough is there from the uh, 305 gram frame weight. And as Jay mentioned, the torsional crossbar is definitely a technology or an aspect of this racket that I notice. It prevents it from twisting, therefore you're getting a little extra forward motion and power out of it. Overall, just a fantastic racket and play test. I was fortunate enough to playtest a bunch of the new Phantoms and by far the most fun one to hit is this 107G. The spin window is just massive on this racket. Um, I can really just carve at the ball. My problem with this racket is, is I just try and be too creative all the time and it gets me into trouble. Instead of just hitting like a clean volley and putting the ball away, I come in and I try and hit some crazy spinny drop shot and invariably maybe miss it. But um, just that access to creativity is the thing I love about this racket. Um, even from the baseline, I was trying to 
see how much spin, how much junk I could get on the ball and really move it around, get my opponent moving and kind of guessing as to what my shot was going to do. On serve, I thought it was whippy, easy to get through, nice pace from those long main strings, very forgiving everywhere on the court. So on return of serve, you don't have to get a lot on the ball to really hit a nice shot and get some depth and pace back into the court. So really fun play test, definitely best with a poly for me to access that spin. And I would probably beef it up just a little bit just to bring the spec more to my range, but without taking away that fast feel. We strung up the Prince Phantom 107G with Prince Diablo at around 53 pounds. For more information on this racket or any others, please check us out at Tennis Warehouse, Tennis Warehouse Europe, or Tennis Only.